Have you ever wondered how to ensure that your oils don't go rancid? Hello, my successful and healthy earthlings, Mihaela Ragushia, naturopath and founder of the Natural Health Podcast. In this episode today, I'm going to show you just how to keep your oils safe and healthy. At the end of this episode, I'm going to give you an opportunity to join a health and success oriented community by clicking below and join the Natural Health newsletter. Welcome to the Natural Podcast, where we bring awareness to sustainable health in the business hustle space. Natural Podcast is perfect for the high performing business minded individuals who want to work with their biochemistry to achieve success and optimal health. It's Wednesday, which means it's time for What Would I Do? In today's episode of Natural Podcast, we discuss this week's question. All questions are kept confidential, I read them and answer them as it was me. Hence why it's called What Would I Do? The information provided is not to be taken as advice and is solely for information purposes only. I'm not here to cure treat or provide medical advice i'm here to educate and inform you so you will take steps towards optimal health please discuss any medical issues or lifestyle changes with your healthcare professional let's get into today's question today's question is i've heard you speak about oils going rancid does algae oil also have the risk of going rancid what an absolutely amazing question i love it and i've spoken about algae oil before and the benefits of algae oil as a supplement um in in, in uh, compared to fish oil absolutely amazing video check that out on youtube or spotify or wherever you want to check it out but let's first look at rancid oil someone might go what does that even mean or what is rancid the number one thing that i want to say is avoid rancid oils they are toxic and they will make you sick i know it's a big statement right but one they don't taste good two they have negative effects on your health so the last thing that you want is to put something in your mouth in your body that doesn't taste good i mean we're all want yummy foods and right but then also it's going to have a negative effect on your health long-term cell damage and potentially lead to development of chronic diseases if you do ingest rancid oils and they are composed oil that develop harmful free radicals that cause so many health issues so rancid actually means by definition uh, refers to natural spoilage caused by changes in a substance chemical structure so exposure to warm temperatures oxygen or light are major factors in rancid progression so these are the things that make your oil go yucky and and dangerous so one of the three months of room temperature storage vegetables oil has a notice with so uh, so it's saying after one to three months of room temperature storage vegetable oils have degraded and may have gone rancid right that's crazy and uh, in 2018, Journal of Food and Nutrition Science said and they evaluated the rancidity and other properties of mustard and corn oils. Each product was stored at room temperature during a study. Research determined that incorrect storage can cause the oils to become rancid and acquire an undesirable flavor and smell. Air, heat, light, and uh, are some variants of, of metal also contribute to the development of rancid. So they actually looked at contamination by environmental microorganisms present in raw materials and processing of storage rooms are also factors. So the question was in the, in, the, in the study was are rancid oils a health hazard? And they concluded yes, they are. Why? Because they form dangerous free radicals that contribute to cell damage. Cell damage that is huge. That's destroying your cells. What's cancer? Cell damage, right? So a compromised cell has been linked to the development of Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, and other diseases which manifest over time. Free radicals have also shown to damage our, our arteries and to function as carcinogenic, like I said, cancer, right? So the last thing that you want to do is ingest these oils into your body so essentially not only that they can also trigger some digestive system issues they can also drain your vitamin b and e from your body um, and and such other effects so essentially health wise it's not a smart thing to ingest any rancid oils so some of the questions that i would ask myself is what oils do i currently consume where do i keep these oils how big of a package do I use these oils? Do I smell the oils before I use them? Where do I keep these oils? But also go through any of my medicine or supplements that contain oils. Where do I keep these? And 
these are the questions that I ask myself. The first questions are these ones about uh, what, where do I keep my oils? Do I um, store them well? Uh, for example, if I get olive oil or something, what is it held in? Is it in glass? Is it in plastic? Is it in light, dark containers? All of these questions, ask yourself. What would I do? The number one thing that I would do is I would check, um, I, would, I would review my whole cabinet of oils, figure out what oils I use. First, do a cleanse of oils that have been there for a while, get rid of them. Any oils that are in plastic, get rid of them. <laughs> Any oils... Um, that are not yet yeah, not in glass containers get rid of them any 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 oils that are not in dark glass containers get rid of them any oils that have been open for more than three months get rid of them i know it sounds like a waste but you'll rather waste than get sick and cause damage to yourselves right um i would check the date of manufacturing of the product uh the fresher it is the better I would not take any supplements with oil past the uh, best before date, including oils also. Uh, when buying, I would buy them in a dark bottle, including supplements also. Uh, keep away from heat and cooking, because I know most people, right, uh, this is their kitchen and they've got their oil right there. No, 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 your oil should be away from the oven, away from the stove top, uh, away in a dark place, away from the sun also, uh, and in a dark bottle. So. Your question was about algae oil. This is the same thing for algae oil. It is an oil, so therefore it has a potential of going rancid. So therefore, like any other oil, keep an eye out on it. Touch base with the manufacturer. Ask them, what is the best way for me to store this oil to get the most out of it so it doesn't go rancid? The manufacturers or the businesses that's doing this for you should know this information and should be educating you. Store your algae oil in a dark place. Um, under 30, under even 20, under 25 degrees, not even 30. Um, ask them these questions. That's what I would do. I would, I would touch base with the individual's companies and go, hey, how can I store this best? But you know now it's in a dark place. Number one, in a dark bottle, in a dark place and cool. It's kind of like where you would store your vampire if you had one. <laughs> um, away right away from the sun we love the sun those things don't um by uh, this is this is one that i struggle with because of like environmental reasons and so forth is buying in smaller bottles i know i'm gonna get a lot of people going oh you should bulk buy yes bulk buy most things like toilet paper and other things but <laughs> i shouldn't say toilet paper everyone knowing the situation current in australia but but with with oils, I would not buy the 10, 15, 20 liters um, of oil unless you use it in a week or two or in a month, unless you use that much in a month. Buy as much oil as you need that you would use in a month or two and then go again, right? Uh, in addition to that, let's talk about some nuts of the similar thing, right? You can extend nut shelf life by storing the package in a freezer. Um, but extending a butt to keep it fresh, keep them in the fridge. Everyone's nuts should be in the fridge. <laughs> I sound that's funny, but everyone's nuts and seeds should be in the fridge. They're filled with oil. Um, yeah, so going back to oils is smell your oils, taste them a little bit before you put more in your mouth just to see, are they rancid, right? Are they rancid? And I can guarantee you this is bad, but most fish oils and maybe even some algae oil, I don't know, that you just find at the pharmacy or at you just your supermarket is rancid, right? It's not being looked after properly. This is where you want to get the good quality ones. Pay more for your oils and get the good quality ones. So I hope I shed some light to this question. Absolutely passionate about oils and choosing the right oils. I have a lot more episodes. I don't know why I'm whispering, but I have a lot more episodes that go into uh, oils and more oils to use for cooking and so forth. Check that out also. Uh, and if you love this episode and you want to share it with someone, click the share button, send it across to that individual and so they're educated also on how to store their oils and keep their cells healthy. Thing. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at mahela.raguz or click below and fill out the form with questions and I'll get back to you as soon as I can or hopefully feature it on the podcast um, via the podcast to answer your question. And if you want to join our Health and Success Orange community, click below and join the Natural Health newsletter. Get bonuses, specials sent straight into your inbox every Friday. Remember, the missing link between failure and success is your health.
content and information provided here is opinion of Mahalo Raguse and is for information purposes only and does not constitute medical advice. It is not intended to provide medical advice or take the place of medical advice or any current treatment you're undertaking. Consult your own medical professionals for any medical issues that you may be having. This entire disclaimer also applies to any guests or contributors to the Natural Health Podcast. It is advised that you consult your doctor or healthcare professional in relation to any health concerns you may be having. Mahalo Raguse does not take responsibility for any health consequences which occur from a person listening, viewing or reading this content. And in the circumstances shall the natural podcast, Mahela Raguse, any guests or contributors to the natural podcast, or any employees, associates, or affiliates of Mahela Raguse be responsible for damages arising from the information provided on the natural podcast. By listening to this podcast, you agree not to use this podcast as medical advice to treat any medical conditions in either yourself or others. Please note if you're taking prescription, do not stop your medication or start a new protocol, including but not limited to supplements diet lifestyle changes without consulting a doctor or healthcare professional. If you or any person has a medical concern, you should consult with your healthcare provider or seek other professional medical advice. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something that you have read or heard on the natural podcast or in any linked materials. If you think you may have a medical emergency, call your doctor or emergency services immediately. Neither Mahela or Guzman, the publisher of this context, takes responsibility for the possible health consequences of any person or persons reading or listening or following the information in educational content.